so in this video we will do an uh, interesting question again okay so we will be actually doing the sum but right now the sum will be different okay we want to do something like this let's say let's say uh, the values are like say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay this is my array okay this is my array, right i want to get this sum of these values and print it what is the sum obviously what is the sum 12 i want to print this 12 afterwards i want to get this sum what is the sum it is 8 right here 8 plus 2 10 plus 5 15 afterwards i want to get this sum so 9 plus 9 18 and i want to get the answer something like this just print it first print 12 give a space print 15 give a space print 18 can you do it again it's a very simple question like not that simple but if you have to just play around with IGO okay what is happening here these things are basically controlled by I. These things are getting controlled by I, my G, right? So see here properly. You want to first, I'll give you the idea, okay, basically. First here, you want to actually add up all the sums of the first column. So first keep J as fixed, so outer loop will be containing J, okay? I treated this portion, okay? Add in your sum this. Afterwards, go to this. Add in your sum this, so 1 plus 4 will become, so it's gonna be sum plus AR of IJ. This is gonna be same. But right now AR of IJ is basically controlled by differently. So first put one here. So sum will become one. Afterwards put the four here. Sum will become five. Afterwards again put sum seven. So this will become twelve. After getting twelve, print it out. First print it. After printing it, I can reinitialize the value of sum with zero. Because now you need to sum this second column, right? So reinitialize the value of sum with zero next go and actually try to get the sum so again for this since sum equal to 0 now sum will become sum plus AR of i so AR of i basically means 2 now so 2 afterwards add 5 here so 2 plus 5 add here so it becomes 7 afterwards 7 plus 8 add here and you'll get 15 afterwards again before going here on the next iteration here on this next column print this value 15 also so 15 also will be printed then get the sum of this column and print it out okay it's very simple Try it out. Okay, try it out, and then in case if you aren't able to do it, just come and see the solution. Okay. So the important is that your outer loop will be basically controlling the columns. Okay. Because outer loop is getting first fixed, and then we are actually moving i because first this, this, this. I is see j is fixed. J is fixed. First move i here, then i here, then i. Here. Okay. After this has been done, afterwards move j here. Again, i will be moving from here, here, and here. Right. Considering these three values. Right. So just write. Okay, so I hope you have tried it. Yeah, let's just get into it how we should do it. Okay. Let's just do it. How we should do it. Okay, now. So let me just take the wedding the input here, right? So and this is the max. So let's just even comment this max out here. Okay. Okay, so right now we need to actually store the column values so there is something called as sum yeah sum will be there okay let's keep it zero let's see where we'll, we'll see how we'll we'll place this sum actually okay right now let's just keep it here okay so now we will be iterating at the column so first put the column okay so i equal to j equal to zero okay just see there can be even i there can be even j no problem with that okay just i'm giving you this j because i want you guys to understand that this is the this was actually in the inner loop before now it is in the outer loop okay making sense so j less than now it should not be rows it should be columns right j plus this so for tent i equal to 0 i less than i plus plus now see as soon as you write here a r of i j what does it mean you are first going to the first column so obviously I need to put the sum of first column, right? So make here sum equal to sum plus AR by J. Okay. After getting the sum of all the first column, come outside here, come out here, print the value of sum. Okay, so sum should be printed here. Then let's not do this. Or I as I told you, let's do it that way only. So just print something. Leave space here. So what did I do? See, some value was zero. 
afterwards okay let me see an example here let me explain to you so we put in writing okay four five six seven eight nine i came here j equal to zero yes uh, less than n yes there are zero one two zero one two we have three columns three rows this is rows and this is columns right i equal to zero i less than m yes i have to this two sum equal to sum plus ar of ij sum value is initially zero so zero plus ar of ij what is ij zero zero so first put the value of sum as sum plus ar of ij so it will become one sum is now one now sum value will be sum plus ar of ij what now j will be zero only but now i value will be actually put into here so one zero will be this so sum will be sum plus ar of ij so sum value is one one plus four five so it will be five now okay afterwards again we're going to put this so sum value is five plus seven okay so five plus seven is twelve so twelve is actually stored in my sum and actually i'm printing the sum value sum. so i'm printing sum now again i'm going to my loop and again i'm coming now at index j equal to one so now i'm pointing at this index so as soon as i'm pointing it now the sum value will be equal to zero right i'm going to do the sum for this column this specific column so initially the value of the sum in this column should be zero so this sum value where i'm writing it line number 16 i should actually write here before actually going and before putting getting the sum so i want to have right here in between 17 and 18 okay because every time i have i've got the sum of this right so next sum i need to do of this so after getting here line at this j plus plus again it will move from line number 17 to 18 so again in this point only i need to increase uh put my value of sum as again zero why zero because now i want to actually add this value sum okay so let's do this let's do this you can like i just just create some here it's fine and then you can be like a hey, sum becomes zero here okay that's fine let's run it once already printing it so it's just fine so let's run it so number of rows is three number of columns is three one two two three four five six okay i've given three okay so just see that properly okay seven eight nine we should be getting uh eleven then what is this fourteen and then this is basically your 70 11 14 and 70 okay because here values are some somehow i have given the different values i was about to give you 4 6 but i give different values. doesn't matter right so we got the values 11 14 and 70 i hope this is very simple first we're taking the sum of 1 3 and 7 after taking initializing the value of sum equal to 0 at line number 18 and then again putting the sum of this 2 4 and 8 and again printing it here right again after printing here again i'm going to initialize the value of sum as 0 and again printing the value here and it right so if you want to understand let's do it quick, quick try run let's quickly let's do it so let's just do a quick try run for the same values so here some value is zero some value is zero not okay, great getting some of some equal to some plus arrow five so getting some of this and main printing here from this line 11 okay now j plus plus j plus plus so you came here again again some value which was initially 11 right now okay that's the reason i have printed this again became zero through this line number 18. afterwards again i went from line number 19 to 21 okay and i have actually taken care of this specific column so two what was it two four and eight I have increased the values and i have got a 14. i have printed 14 great 14 has been printed again j plus plus again i'm going at line number 18 again j sum is getting re-initialized with zero okay sum equal to zero afterwards again it's been equal to zero so again i'm doing this part for this in the, for this column and i'm printing this column okay so i hope this is making sense right okay. go through it and you'll be able to do it again so see you guys in the next video okay thank you